a game on the PC, which is my first PC game, and it is Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos, the Joey, Joey the Passion. Alright guys, so I am f actually played before, so I'm going to show you guys my deck. I have one Flame C Cerebrus, two Geminis, one Axe Raider, I've got Gamma the Magnet Warrior, three Alligator Swordsmen, because I really love these guys. I've also got the ground attack or bug growth. Then I've got two gro the gro the gross ghost of fled dreams. I've got a single baby dragon. I have island turtle, buster blader, the goblin attack force, and also zombira the dark. I have um, a blasphere and a witch of the black forest sun gun. The Morphin Jar 2, Penguin Soldier, 2 Mystical Space, 1 Change of the Heart, I have Harpy's Feather Duster, Monster Reborn, Polymerization, Delinquent Duo, Cards of the Safe Return, um, Grateful Dice, I've also got Giant Trune, 2 Tribute of the Doom, I've got Michizure, I have Torrential Destruction, Ultimate Offering, Magic Jammer, Call of the Haunted, and also Magic Cylinder. And I have played, so I've got a few extra cards. And you can only have one change of heart. Alright, so they have the ban list in this. This is a very old school game. Um, I just thought that, why not? I want to have a, a bit more of a variety on my videos. So I'm giving out this game a go. So let's go into a duel. I am level 4 so far, so maybe after this we can go level 5 and unlock some ultimate card. And, ah uh, yeah. In this game, Joey talks a lot, so try to ignore him when possible. I just wish he'd talk more like um, he's with his Brooklyn accent. I really like his Brooklyn accent. Alright, looks like we're going first. Alright, so at the start of the duel we draw 5 cards. Draw another one at your draw phase, which in new Yu-Gi-Oh you don't do. So I'm going to set my magic cylinder, and I'm going to summon set my Sangan and end my turn. So begin this slowly, so let's see what his move will be. Already? Oh damn, no! Don't Please take away Paul. Oh, you took out Trib. Alright, so I'm going to discard Polymerization. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Stole the cards I wanted. Alright, so... now nah, I'm not going to activate Magic Cylinder. Let him take Sangan. And then we can get another monster to our hand of five, 1,500 attack points or higher. So I've got quite decent choices, but... My favourite to always add is the Witch of the Dark of the Black Forest. I really like this card. I want. I'm thinking of. Oh. Let me give you a little hint. Oh my God! So two sets to worry about. All right. So guys, usually I. God, he's not going to give me a chance, is he? Alright, so guys, I also play in real life Yu-Gi-Oh! I am a duelist, of course. So, hmm. Alright, I'm going to set the Witch of the Black Forest, which one day I do plan on ordering, because she's very good. I kind of like her. I'm going to build like an old school deck with White Storm X. Maybe if you guys can want to, you guys can watch, um, we can record the duel, because he plays as well. This game means very much to him, actually. He's a very old school player. So anyways, um, enough about that. We played the Witch of the Black Forest set, and he summons Gemini Elf. Alright, so let's take let's tank the first attack. This way we get to add a monster from our deck to our hand, but we also take a bit of damage. So since... This one allows us to bring someone with a thousand five hundred or less defense. 
meaning Zombira the Dark. Alright, so I think I will be deflecting this next attack. But we will be taking 300 because of his bloody trap. We'll see about that, Joe. Alright, so now we've got... Oh my god. What is it with him gaining life points and dealing lately? And damn it, he just dealt more damage to me. But dealt damage to himself as well. Okay, so... I'm not sure, should we steal his Gemini? Alright, I'm gonna summon Zombira. So, let's go to our battle phase and take out his Gemini Elf. <laughs> Alright, so after Zombira's attacks, he loses 200 points of attack points. But that's not going to be that big a deal because we can handle it. Now, let's see what his next move is going to be. Oh my god, he's got two fla fire princesses. Alright, so let's see what we're going to do. I've got magic jammer I can set that not worth stealing I think for now so just gonna summon my um, ground attacker bug bug wrath so let's attack his attack position one with this guy and Zumbira you can take down the defense one he will take 300 points of damage luckily for each one so that is epic, so let's go, take down that, but Zombira's attack points go to 170. Alright, so let's, 1700 and 1500, and let's end the phase now, and see what's going to happen. Alright, Jerry, what's your comeback? Do you have one? Oh, that's a good comeback. So we've just lost one of our monsters and some more points of damage. All right, so oh, set. All right, so draw a phase now. And mystical space typhoon is something I would have wanted a lot right now. So luckily we've drawn it. So let's destroy that. No, don't want to activate anything in chain. Oh, but he was gonna heal some more life points. That's gonna be. That would have been annoying. I. Huh. Are we. Oh, no, no. Alright, so. 1800 plus 2300. Can we finish him off? I think we can. I'm gonna give it a go. So, still he's, um, Dunamis. No, don't wanna activate in a chain. And then let's also summon him. Now, let's go to battle. I think this is enough to kill him. No, not to kill him, to finish him off. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, it was. Oh my god, a hundred points. No! Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I've got an idea. But I... Name attacks, look who's dying. Alright, so end my turn. Let her get... Let him get his monster back. Because if he activates one thing... Or loses one more monster, he's gonna lose from his trap. So let's let's stay calm. Got keep calm. Let's keep chill. We got this. Joey, activate it and die if you want. I don't mind. Cause tribute of the doom is gonna kill both your monster and you. And also deal 300 points of damage to me. But also to you. And that's how we won the first round. So that's one out of two. Let's keep this going. Alright, so we won the first duel. Don't want to replay, record the, to replay the data. Just let's keep going. Alright, so let's um, keep the deck how it is. I don't really use my side deck. I like my deck how it is. So I'm going to use um, all these monsters here, so let's see, um, 
Since I'm going first, summon Zombira and gonna end the turn there. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen for now. So, uh, he summons Gemini Elf in attack position. Uh, so, no sets? You don't have um, nothing set? Alright. I'm gonna activate Card of the Safe Return. Since it is in my hand and all. So, um, let's summon Sangan. And then let's go battle phase and take down the Gemini Elf. And then we can also deal a direct attack with Sangan. So, that's... That's 1,200 points of damage for the first round. Alright, so ending my turn now, let's see what happens. Um, he's draw a phase, of course. And another Gemini Elf. Who attacks my bloody Sangan. Really? God. Alright, so... I think the best move to do would be to add my turtle, the island turtle. Island turtle is really cool. I'm thinking of building like a reptile style kind of deck. Reptile with um, like, you've got alligator sword, um, adding a few dragons, I don't know, we'll see as I go. For now I'm got like just random bits and bobs everywhere so we'll see how it goes and then we'll decide on what happens so don't want to sacrifice on beer of the dark already it's a bit too early so let's see what damn it I wish I sacrificed him all right so unfortunately we've just lost our um, witch of the black forest let's see what we get all right so if we could destroy that. No, no, not yet. Um, I'm going to add my goblin attack falls just in case for now. See where that goes um, anyways. And damn it, he attacked. Of course he attacked. <sighs> what did I expect? Alright, so... Let's see how we're going to win this. I'm going to set Call of the Haunted... And I'm going to summon my Goblin Attack Falls, which will be attacking his Gemini Elf. So, let's see what else happens for now. Let's just go. Oh, no. Oh, alright. I got scared there. Thought he had something good. Just healing his life points. So, during the end phase, Goblin Attack Falls goes to defense, unfortunately. And I can't switch him in my next go. But the go after that I can, so... Alright, do I want to activate Call of the Haunted yet? Um, not really. Alright, so he sound his Fire Princess again. And he's using it to take down my Goblin Attack Falls. I uh, thought I'd be able to keep him a few rounds longer. Alright, so... It's, um... His end phase, let him end it. Alright, so I am going to be... Could I steal this now? Wait, so last round? Yeah, I can steal his Goblin Attack Force. And then use my Goblin Attack Force. And then summon another monster. But... You know what? Let's steal his Goblin Attack Force. Alright, so... Change of Heart is activate. Don't want to negate it. Oh no, it's Call of the Hunt. It's... Switch him to attack position. Now activate Call of the Haunted again. And I'm actually going to summon Zombira instead of the Goblin Attack Force. Because I think that that would be a better move for now. So, yeah. Activate. Yes, let's draw a card. Okay, so now we've got Gemini Elf as well. Nice. Add her to my hand. Now, in the battle phase, I'm going to attack first with Zombira, because Zombira the Dark cannot attack directly. So, attack with Gemini Elf next, and then with Goblin, he's a Goblin Attack Force, which will be switched to defense. <laughs> Don't worry, your monster's the one attacking you this time. 
All right, so one more round of pummeling like that, and he should be done. So I'm going to give you back your monster at my end phase, who's also switched to defense. Now, oh my god, he's got two. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't... I was not expecting that to happen. All right, so... Plus a set. Oh my god, this might be... Uh, Alright, so I don't think it's worth destroying that. Alright, so I'm not going to activate Tribute of the Doom, but I will be summoning Set My Morphin Jar, just in case he decides to Tribute Summon on me, because that I don't really have much monsters can, that can deal with Peace Strong's monster. But then again, I do have Tribute of the Doom. We'll see what happens. For now, I'm safe. So hopefully that goes well, and yeah, so keep this up. Alright, so he's summoning set. I bet it's Penguin Soldier. It's Penguin Soldier. It's gotta be. Makes sense. Always is whenever he needs that bloody thing. Okay, get rid of them from his hand. So. Just technically he's going to lose both his cards. Oh no, so it's not Penguin Soldier. Well, not really caring. I'm just going to make sure that it's not. This is going to be a good way. So let's flip summon this. Get rid of his set, which is going to be Penguin Soldier. But we cannot know for sure. So we've got... Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, so he's lost his mon. He's got only one monster now. So since I can summon, I'll be summoning Alligator Swordsman. Well, Alligator Sword, sorry, and attack the set. I just really always love calling him Alligator Swordsman. Don't really know why. So anyway, let's keep going. End my phase, and if he can't bring Sank to back himself, then we've won this round. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's just going to make the job easier for us by making us discard. So I'm going to discard the Tribute of the Doom. Now, let's make battle because you are finished, sir. So I'm going to summon Axe Raider and attack with Alligator Sword and Axe Raider. And that's it. We've won the first round. So... These lame attacks are what going to finish you off. Yeah! <laughs> I like the way he shouts. Right, so we've got our first victory. So not wanting to save this battle. Hopefully we get some good cards. And let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait, come on. <clears throat> um, Winged Heat Weaver. We've got the Mask of... Accursed and Seal of the Ancients. Nice. Alright, so how many stars is this girl? So she's a two tribute monster. You no, know she'd actually be quite strong and beefy in my deck, but she's not wanted, unfortunately. So you've got Mask of the Accursed. This the monster equipped with this card cannot attack. In addition, the player controlling the equipped monster must take damage. Or 500 life points during each of your standby phases. So this is like a burn damage equip spell. Nice. It would also stop his monster. And him losing 500 points of damage as well is really good. So at the cost of 1000 of your own life points. Flip all of your opponent's monsters face down. Cards face. <coughs> so at. Uh, Alright, so I pay 1,000 life points and flip all of his face down cards. After seeing the cards, return them to their original positions. Card effects are not activated. So this was, it's technically to see what he's got set. But then again, I'm not really scared of most of his sets. I don't know, these guys, these cards are really good. <laughs> we'll see for next time, Joey. 
But for now guys, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to see for opinions, see what everyone thinks. And anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And that's it for today and goodbye.